I have Hold a question. On. Hold on just a second. I have a question. Just a second. The definition is, of an average woman. Well, I'll tell you what. What's the definition of an average man? Let's do with, that. I don't think really? people are average. I think that they can huh? be average in relationships, really? but no, I don't no, think no, there's. No. So hold on. I don't on. think there's hold average. Hold on. Hold on. You're over talking. Are you over talking me? No. You don't. Think oh no, no. I was talking. The definition of a woman is a woman who is average looking. Average looking. I don't think that the only thing women have to offer are look. Well, I understand. That's why I said. What What, what did I say? Do you understand that that's what men mean? That that's what your view is. No, no, no. Men. They evaluate women based upon looks. You do judge you women based on looks, not men, right. honey. You. There's a difference. Look, bitch, get off my phone. And you got too much attitude to be as basic as you are. Go show me the men with multiple millions who pick basic Beckys after they have money. In this episode of The Kevin Samuels Show, a group of women from Toronto called in to give their opinion on whether they feel like they are selling themselves short in relationships. However, things quickly escalated when one of the women took offense to Kevin's response. Let's watch this fiery exchange. I, okay, what do you have for me on the topic? Where are you at? We live in Toronto, um, okay. Ontario. And I think you that have, you have a friend, lot of- You have seen, uh, the- the women are in the uh, room with you. Are those your friends? Yeah. Okay. All right. It seems like somebody's uh, off camera, uh, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and have the conversation. You feel like women can sell themselves short based upon what? And I see a lot of women that are super talented, very good looking, I'm not speaking for myself, but I'm speaking for quite a few of my friends. Um, and they'll get, they'll put themselves in situations with men, not anything based on wealth, or social so, status or anything like that. Are you in a relationship now? Yes. Yeah. What about your friends? Because uh, you're an attractive woman, but I saw a bunch of people moving around. So um, <laughs> selling yourself short means selling yourself short means that you should be getting something better than what you're actually getting. Are you saying that there are women that are out there who are really getting less than what they should get? I think so. Um, okay. Mostly, okay. I'd say also just in just in regards to like how they're treated. I think that women should always really respect themselves and not put themselves in situations where they're in harm's well, way. And I do well, feel well, you can. Well, find- well, there's not a lot of women who are getting abused and being in harm's way today in relationships. That's just not mm-hmm. just not reality. Um, what I see far more often the women who are average who want to be treated like queens. And demanding to be treated, you know, if you watch my show, do you do you happen to see how many women who are average wanting men earning yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars? That, mm-hmm. That's why I'm like, I'm not understanding where the selling the shelf short comes from. But maybe it's just what you guys see there. But all right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I have Hold a on. question. Hold on just a second. I have a question. Just a second. Um, your, your first name? Uh, definition what is, of an average woman well i'll tell you what what's the definition of an average man let's do it that way um i think an average man would be somebody who's maybe uh unmotivated but more on the sense that wants to kind of drain the person that they're with i don't really? think people are average i think that they can be average in relationships really? I mean, but no, i don't no, think no, there's no. So hold on, i don't hold think on. there's hold average on, hold on. You're over talk- are you ever talking me no, you don't. Think oh no, no, I was talking. No, they're they're guys. Uh, average guy, who's earning the median income. Average guy. He could be. Oh. He could be working so at the sorry, post so office. He could be working at the. Average, okay. Oh my goodness. Is so sorry. No, is average status, or is that what we're talking like? Average. Earning? Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's do this again. I tried to understand if you understand what an average man is, and you went to a motivation. I'm trying to talk about the average rank and file guy that you see every day as if you ladies don't see average men, but if that's not going to work. Average from a woman is a woman who is average looking, average looking. She's not, a, she's not ugly. She's not pretty. She's average. She's normal. Okay. So, so can I ask another question then? Is that okay? May I? Well, as, as long as we can, do you do you understand that that's what men mean by when they say average? 
Um, yes and no, because I don't think that the only thing women have to offer are look. Well, I understand. That's why I said, what, what, what did I say? Do you understand that that's what men mean? I that that's what your view is. No, no, no. Men. That's My what boy- men. No. That's what men mean. And you ladies can, you're talking. So I muted you because I've told you not to over talk me and I'll let you speak. And if we're going to have a conversation, I'm running my show. So check the attitude because it's coming through. Unmute yourself. Hi. Uh, I don't know why you have an attitude uh, or. Oh, no, I don't have an attitude. Well, well why it's thing. coming across that way. But look, ma'am. Men judge women based upon about men evaluate women based upon looks. You do judge you women based on looks, not men, right. honey. You, there's a difference. Look, bitch, get off my phone. That's why you're fat. fat. Let me help you out. This is why I don't I don't do this with you, silly young girls. I judge women based on looks. So, guys, apparently, these Toronto women think that I'm the only man in the world. The judges women based upon looks. Yeah, go ahead and vote for him. And she's still talking. She's still talking like somebody's. And I'm I'm and see, this is a problem in the West. This woman is not un, she's not pretty, but she's not average. She's cute. But her attitude is ugly. And ugly attitudes mean you need to have a, a banging body and bring a lot to the table. And this is where you tend to get a lot of women who are slightly above average in their looks, thinking that they can tell men what they should judge women based on. So guys, understand that this woman is actually trying to say that it's only me, not you guys. Well, I'll tell you what, in the comment section of this video, reference the wine drinking woman right here and tell her what you think, what you judge women based on. The name is Cece. Talk to Cece in the comment section after the video and tell her what you value in women, seeing as though she thinks it's only me. And what you do, Cece, is you bring yourself back over to the comment section and you see what men really value. And what's ironic about all of this is there are three women in here bouncing back and forth doing this silly stuff thinking that i should have to tolerate their poor behavior just because they put the cuter friend on the phone first and the other ones are going to hand her the phone and let her mimic the talking points i i know what you were doing it's not new it's the same thing you guys do at clubs you use the cute girl to get into the club and then the chubby fat face friends talk shit about all the guys who aren't on their level Yeah, she's like, well, because I know you. I've been a bouncer at nightclubs. I've seen you slightly above average chicks before, and you got too much attitude to be as basic as you are. And trying to be nice to you doesn't work. So the only way that women like you pay attention is when somebody goes ahead and slaps you with reality. Men judge based upon looks. Go show me the men with multiple millions who pick basic Becky's after they have money they don't and this like i said this is no real respecter of race these women are not black but this is a western attitude and so many of these women feel like that you guys should pick them based upon things that they want to give you because they don't want to give you a nice attitude they don't want to give you femininity they don't want to give you cooperation they want to give you Dad bods, beer bellies, and their hot friend knows that she needs to at least be hot. The average chick thinks that she can get the hot outcomes through arguing with you. These women traditionally have gotten men by wearing them down. But men aren't buying that anymore. Men are choosing to say, I'd rather be alone than deal with this. Yeah, you should have acted like you had more sense. We could have had a conversation. 
Now you're just going to be used for content. In conclusion, the behavior of the rude and drunk caller is a prime example of how some modern women react when their views are challenged. They are quick to dismiss men for not meeting their standards but become indignant when men have their own standards. This call highlights the importance of understanding what each gender wants in a relationship. It's important for women to consider what men are looking for in a partner and strive to meet those expectations rather than just focusing on their own desires. By doing so, women can build successful relationships that fulfill the needs of both partners. And don't forget to subscribe to the Relationship Report for more insightful discussions on building healthy relationships.